first first strike of the day and it's only taken about two hours live little tiny live pinfish and we got a trout not sure he's a keeper trout but he's a trout nah he ain't a keeper but a little tiny live pinfish Fly away, be free. All right. I got out here about, oh, six. And it's just a little after 10, so it's taken me four hours to catch fit and I didn't get out here at six. Probably quarter to seven. So it's been about three hours, three hours to catch the first fish. Yay! And it's a short trout. Oh well. All right. Just like that, fish number two. And what do we got? Got another trout. This time, I think he is a keeper. All right. Let me get my. Get in there. All right. at 18. Guess what? You, sir, have become dinner. All right. That's two trout in a couple minutes. Not bad. Oh my goodness. Okay. Started out slow. There we go. What started out slow has kind of, kind of turned on here. Oh, shit. Last, uh, last hour, last hour of the outdoor time. Okay. That's what I'm talking about right there. Seven, twenty-six and three quarters. See, this is typical. Stay with me. Typical. Had I been in that tournament, this would have been. All right, you you got no spots there, and no spots there. I wonder what the deal is. This is the biggest no spot red that I've ever caught. But that's the second one in about two trips. He looks kind of ragged. I don't know if he's, but I do know this. He' gonna be dinner. Oh, all right. All right. We got something. I don't know. This is a 
Ray. I'm gonna say he's over slot. Boom, right there. not having 10 lines out. Yep. There you 
go. All right, that was cool. All right, <laughs> so things have started to turn on a little bit these last couple hours of the high tide or the uh, low tide, the outgoing. I gotta get some more bait. Stay tuned. Some trout. All right. Come on, stay with me. I know, I know. Half of this tide is starting to do really good. 18 inches, 18 and a quarter maybe. Going in the box. All right, so <clears throat> while we're sitting here waiting on the next little bit of action, kind of go over the scenario. We're up in a creek. We are the last of the outgoing tide. Uh, let's see, the wind is out of the east-southeast. It feels like it's blowing about 8 to 10 miles an hour. It took me about three hours to get any action at all. Uh, the first little bit of action was a, uh, was a small trout that I didn't even get on camera. And then uh, and I was moving up and down the creek and fishing little creek mouths and points and stuff. and. <laughs> Finally, finally, finally kind of settled into this little basin right here and uh, I've had some really good action. I got uh, two keeper trout and I keep a redfish that's 26 and 3 quarter inches with no spots and then I caught a 30 and 3 quarter inch redfish uh, which hopefully the video footage came out. Um, everything I'm doing is on cut pinfish. I've been fishing uh, pinfish plugs on corks and then I've been fishing uh, you know fronts and backs fresh fronts and backs on uh, just landed on the bottom using a 5 aught 2x circle hook and then using a 1 aught live bait hook on the cork uh, jigging up pinfish as I go because uh, uh, you can catch them on frozen all day long but they I've just had better luck and better quality fish on fresh cut pinfish. So that's it right now. It's not bad. It's been overcast all day. I'm looking around making sure there's no giant storms building up. So stay tuned. Hopefully we'll get another one. This is a ray or redfish, but dead be gone. Turn the boat around. Where the hell are you going? What the hell? say Ray, but a bunch of head shaking. And it may just be that he's in shallow water. He's fighting just like that other big redfish. Which I actually thought was a ray. <laughs> There's 
there's another head shake, so I don't know. Maybe it's a ray. Maybe it's red. That'd be cool if it was coming right at the boat and screaming. What do we got? Oh yeah, big ray. Not happy. What's that on him? Oh, that's grass on his stinger. Not real happy there, big guy. Okay. Turn me back around right there, dude. This is what you gotta deal with when you're when you're dead bait fishing. There we go. Alright, broke him off. I got a wee wig. Let's get back in the water. One thing for sure, that little anchor is holding. I may never get out, but... Not a bad way to close out the day. Ended up with three trout, two redfish. Keeping some dinner. Oh, dead low tide. Gonna take my time, come on back in. Looks like it's probably starting to build a little bit offshore, probably a little bit inshore too. So get in and get cleaned up.